Touch the North. Touch the North! And this is my uh, poem called Headache. I have this massive headache, a voice I can't just shake, telling me a mistake that I don't have what it takes. I'm going to make my dreams happen, that I never succeed. People tell me to take medicine to be free. Take the pills as much as you can, shut down, hoping that the massive headache goes away. People may tell you it's dangerous to take that many, yet the remainder of my headache has disappeared. I wake up the next morning, head still banging, but it's not quieter. I'm still stressed, still barely making it through my day as I utter a cry while I continue on my way. That night, the headache was back. This time, it's worse than I ever experienced. I'm all alone, weary as ever, starting to question whether my sanity is lost. Maybe I'm just at a loss for words. I can't ask for help. I am losing my mind. My questions are piling, and my natural thoughts are out of the door. I think of how last night the headache left for a good 10 minutes. Let's try again and see what works. Maybe the pain will lead me to the correct way. Maybe the pain will lead me straight closer to death. But is that what I want? I ask myself as I grab a handful of Tylenol. Do I want to wait tomorrow morning? I give myself a shot by taking the pills. Maybe destiny should choose if the 12th time is my last. I throw more pills into my mouth, my defense mechanism kicking in, and a test pain in my intestine. I throw another three handfuls by down the urge to go up. I question if I make the right choice, leaving the fate of the destiny as my eyes become groggy. I fall asleep. I woke up the next morning around 4 a.m. I sit up straight, my stomach aching, my massive headache returns, and the voices grow louder. Within the next hour, my strength and power is depleted. No longer a question of weather, but now a question of when it sits in that I am defeated. My head realizes I am in danger, and I'm not regret at all. I want to retreat and stop myself from the night before. The fear I had when we lose sight of what the right choice was, in spite of everything, despite the constant headache and the voices that go louder by the minute. Even though I had no one with me, even though my life had fallen apart and my dreams had been ripped and stopped on the carpet, I didn't want the headache to go away. The headache was my only company, the only thing keeping me at bay from the ledge. But I'm at the end which, whether I survive or not, is up to me. I shut up my head for just a minute and arrive at the decision. I want to be alive. Not alive in the way that my head is always quiet. Not alive in the way that my life isn't just right after right. Not alive in the way that my life will provide us free life, where I am I'm in charge. The pilot of my life taking charge of my own life, just alive. With the headache and the pain, the stains I have left on my arms and thighs, with the ideas and my future always being at stake, with an idea that fills with the fear of dying, a big sigh escapes my lips. I say goodbye to the headache in my head as my emotions creep and eclipse over my thoughts. I fell to my knees, my emotions twisted in knots. I want to be alive, I finally say aloud. My thoughts on how to escape have shifted. I finally submitted to experiencing the emotions. They insisted that I want to be alive. They pushed and they grabbed, dragging me down. The emotions weigh on my chest. I start to escape the emotions and the tears start to flow. I undergo a bunch of thoughts. I show myself my arms. I twist and trace the cuts and the scrapes of my legs go steady and I brace myself. For I never understood what I had been doing. I am ready. I speak aloud as I reassure myself. I strive for a better life, and I want to be alive.